Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio and this is Risa's Rizzo's. And if it's your first time visiting me today, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. All you have to do is click on that big bright red subscribe button. And then after clicking on the subscribe button, click on the bell because the bell is what's gonna turn on your notifications. And then that way you'll never miss another one of my videos. I'm really excited about this video because I'm gonna be covering something that's brand spanking new. If you haven't seen it yet, let me introduce you to one of Shea Moisture's new products. Ooh. This is the Shea Moisture Sugarcane Extract and Meadow Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment with Marshmallow Root. This is hot off the press, hot off the shelves. It's like everywhere you turn, there's a new Shea Moisture product and then I have to get it. I have to grab it, I have to try it. So this video is gonna be a review on the Shea Moisture Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. Y'all know that I love doing these videos, these reviews, because I love to give you my honest opinion and let you know whether or not it is worth it. So let's get started. So it says for all hair types, thank goodness, miracles do happen. This leave-in treatment does it all, detangles, nourishes, softens, cuts drying time, adds shine, smooths and reduces frizz, enhances silkiness, and protect against thermal and environmental damage. An innovative blend of sugarcane, meadow foam, seed oil, marshmallow root, and nourishing botanicals make this high slip formula great for tangle-free manageability and hair health. It leaves hair smooth, soft and lustrous. The bottle does come in a spray form, not so much spray, but more spritz. As you can see, it's just kind of like a stream that it sprays and you get just about a little bit at a time. I'm not wasting this whatsoever. So I wanna hop into the ways that I've used this product. So number one, obviously, as a leave-in treatment or as a leave-in product or leave-in conditioner, AKA before using some kind of curl defining product. The product says high slip formula and they are not kidding. This product has so much slip to it. It's incredible, it's unbelievable. I spray a little bit at a time on the palms of my hand. I rub it together and then focusing on a section at a time, I just feel like my hair glides through my fingers so easily. I don't feel, however, that the product does enough as far as giving my curls the moisture that it needs. So in using this product by itself, I realized that my hair was dry but soft. It was weird because it's like my hair was just, in, which is another reason why I absolutely love this product. My hair was incredibly soft, so, so soft to the touch, but it was dry, like it wasn't moisturized enough. I had the shine, like I had a bit of shine to my hair and once again, like the softness, but I just felt like my hair could have been more moisturized. So I found that I do have to use this leave-in treatment with another product. It, hands down, I have to. I did use this product today. So today I have first aid curls. I basically just sprayed this onto the palms of my hand. I rub my palms together and then I just kind of apply the product in two different sections of my hair, like one section at a time, and then slowly began to detangle my curls from the ends, raking my way up to the root. And then I found that because my hair is driest in the back, I had to apply more of this product, not so much for the moisture, but because I knew that it was gonna give me the shine that I needed post styling or after styling. I found that in using this product, the end results for my curls in the very back of my head don't end as brittle. They're actually, like I said, really soft and it does add a bit of shine. So I do like the results that it gives me when I add more of the Miracle Styler leave-in in the very back of my hair. So that, once again, is another plus. And just in case you all were wondering, I actually followed with the Shea Moisture Frizz-Free Curl Mousse because I felt like that was hydrating enough without weighing my curls down and just kind of giving me a bit of fluff. So another thing that I like to do, which I will probably continue doing, is using this as a heat protectant right before blow drying my hair. I'll pump this maybe about three or four more times, rub it on the palm of my hand, and then kind of like, smoothing down my hair to kind of help seal the cuticles. And then I'll go in with my blow dryer. I actually think this is kind of better than the heat protectant that I've been using. Before I had been using the Orlando Pita Play heat protectant, which I, I had been raving about for quite some time, but I don't really get the softness or the shine like I get after using this product. So I think this is kind of like bumping the Orlando Pita Play in some kind of way. And then the final way that I like to use this product is whenever it comes to refreshing my curls. So basically what I'll do is I'll take my hair down from the pineapple the next day and I will use a little bit of water to reactivate the product that I'd used from the day before or from the first day of styling. And with that water, I'll just kind of rehydrate any areas that seem to be a little dry or a little frizzy, maybe even focusing on the very top of my hair if I have any halo. And then I'll go in with this 
Miracle Styler leave-in. So I'll just spray a little bit onto the palm of my hand, rub my palms together, and then just smooth out the areas that I feel need the retouching. And I love that this product has like a really, it just, it, I don't know, I just feel like it dries faster. So by the time I'm out the door, my hair is already done. It's not like I have to wait in the car, turn the heat or the air conditioning up to kind of help my hair dry a little bit faster. No, I feel like this just helps to speed up the process a little bit more, making things a little more convenient for my hairstyling. Another reason why I like this product is because when it comes time to actually washing my hair, it's really easy to get this out of my hair because it doesn't contain any silicones. There's no buildup when it comes to using this product. And like I said, I've used it as a leave-in conditioner. I use it after applying a styler. I use it on second day and third day hair, and I can just keep using it on my curls and there's no buildup. And now we're gonna go into the reality. This is something that I know a lot of you are probably Probably going to freak out about and it's the price so the total miracle leave-in styler for an eight ounce bottle which is this one it can go anywhere from $14.99 to $16.99 lately I've been hearing that it's more on the $16.99 range and then for a four ounce bottle so half of this you're looking to see it anywhere from $7.99 to $8.99 so when I first saw that I was like Shea Moisture is really trying it because Shea Moisture is known for having more of the affordable products for not just curly hair, but for all hair types. But let me explain why I feel like the price is justified. When you find a good product that gives you great results, you're basically getting what you paid for. There is another product out there on the market that I know a lot of you are already familiar with because a lot of you have suggested this product to me as if I've never tried it before in my life, but I, I love it. It's the Miracle, or it's a 10 Miracle leave-in product. I remember loving this product when it came to straightening my hair. I would use this before straightening my hair and it would give me the softest hair that I had ever felt at that time. My hair was super shiny and it always smelled good. When I was about 13 or 14 years old, a friend of the family, Doña Reli, if she's watching this, I'm talking about you. She tried to help me out when it came to controlling my curls and she gifted me my first ever flat iron and then she also gave me this. And it was, it, I think it was this size too. It was the two fluid ounce, it's a 10 miracle leave-in product or leave-in, yes, leave-in product. But I also remember my mom telling me if Doña Reli doesn't give you another bottle, we're not buying this because it's expensive. And I do remember that it was pricier than a lot of the other products that we were already using at home. And I know that there are still women out there who still use this product and live by it and swear that it leaves their hair feeling great and soft and smooth and shiny and smelling good. So I had to kind of refresh my memory. Obviously, I haven't straightened my hair with this, but I have used it as a leave-in conditioner, a leave-in treatment before applying a styler or a curl defining product. And I found that the results are nearly the same. I do feel like because of the fact that this comes in a spray bottle and this is more of like a spritz or a stream, I get more product out of this one. Whereas for the It's a 10, I just feel like I'm constantly spraying as much as I possibly can to get the same results. But when it comes to results and results, I honestly feel like there's not that much of a difference. But if you're gonna ask me to pick one of the two, even though they're practically the same, I would absolutely go with the Shea Moisture brand because it's actually cheaper. So this is the two ounce bottle, but the four ounce bottle, which is half the size of this one, is actually $18.52. So you're paying more for half of the size. The 10 ounce bottle is actually $37.03. And all these prices I found at Ulta, you can find these prices anywhere else. You can Google it, do your research, boo, that product is expensive. So here's Shea Moisture basically saying, so I hear you, I know you like the It's a 10 Miracle leave-in styler, but here's our version and ours is better and more affordable. Like I said, you get a lot for the money that you pay for. You're not using as much of this product on your hair when it comes to detangling your hair or when it comes to giving your curls more slip, more manageability. I just feel like you get more uses out of it for the amount that you pay for. I don't know, all in all, I actually really like this product and I would recommend it to you all. Like I said, I know and I'm familiar with the fact that you all are looking for more affordable options, but if you're looking for an affordable option between the two, then I would say definitely go with the Shea Moisture product. Good job to Shea Moisture on this one. Kudos on coming out with a product, dropping a product like Beyonce, not telling anybody and just being like, bam, here's a new product, 
and you're gonna love it because it's amazing. I love it, it's amazing. So that's basically it for this review. If you liked it and you found it helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in a comment below if you plan on buying the Miracle or Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. I still have to get used to this name. It's such a long name. Let me know what your opinions are of this new product. If you're as surprised as I am about Shea Moisture dropping new products left and right, just let me know what y'all think. And I love y'all so much. Un besito. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.